Hey there, I'm Elliot, and today we're diving into a question that's on a lot of minds. Can any unlock safely remove the iPhone lock to owner message? Now I get it, this can be a real headache, especially if you've just got your hands on a secondhand iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, and it's locked. But before you rush into using any software, let's talk about why that might not be your best option. You see, while it might seem like a quick fix, these methods can often lead you down a path filled with risks like security issues or even legal troubles. But don't worry, I've got some good news for you. There's a way better, safer, and totally free alternative that's not only quicker, but guaranteed to work. And the best part, it's completely legal. In this video, we're going to explore multiple foolproof ways to remove the iCloud activation lock from your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. And I promise by the end of this video, you'll be unlocking your device like a pro. Let's get started. Quick heads up before we continue. I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. Jumping right into it, let's talk about the services that can help you with the iPhone lock to owner message. I know this can be a real pain. A friend of mine bought a secondhand iPhone only to find it was locked. And trust me, it was a hassle. But here's the good news. There are some reliable services out there that can help. First up, we've got Unlock Here's AI Powered Unlocking Web App. This tool uses advanced AI to simplify the unlocking process. And there's Safe Unlocks. It's known for its user-friendly interface and quick results. Locked to Owner is another great option, offering a straightforward approach to unlocking. And lastly, don't overlook the iUnlock app. It's a solid choice for dealing with these pesky locks. Remember, while these services are really helpful, it's always good to stay informed and choose the one that best fits your situation. In the next part of our video, I'll walk you through how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. This tool is a game changer, and I can't wait to show you how it works. Stay tuned for that. It's important to know that the unlock services we've been discussing primarily work in first world countries. If you're in a region where these services aren't accessible or if you prefer not to use them, don't worry, we've got you covered. Every week we offer 250 unlocks for our viewers. Here's what you need to do to be in with a chance. Show some love by hitting that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. This way you won't miss out on any updates or future giveaways. Drop a comment below with your phone's model like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. That's it. Once you've completed these steps, you're automatically entered into the draw. To begin unlocking your device with unlockhere.com, an AI assistant powered web app, simply open your browser on either your phone or computer. Once you're on the site, look for Nifty, the AI bot. Click on activation lock. To let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock, you'll have the option to select whether you're unlocking an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Now it's time to enter your IMEI or serial number. If you're unlocking an iPhone, you'll use the IMEI. For some iPads and Apple Watches, especially those with a SIM card slot or cellular capability, you'll also find an IMEI. However, most iPads and Apple Watches don't have this and instead use a serial number. To find this, press the sleep button on your locked device, then press it again and tap on the I icon at the bottom right. This will display your device info. Once you've entered the IMEI or serial number, the next step is to provide some basic information to link the order to your account. Make sure this information is accurate as you'll receive a confirmation code via email that needs to be confirmed. After entering your details, agree to the terms and confirm that the device you're unlocking is not stolen. Before you proceed, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete a quick captcha. Afterward, click start process. And just like that, you're well on your way. You should receive an email with a confirmation code shortly after. Check your spam or junk folder too, as it sometimes ends up there. Once you've received the code, retrieve it, enter it back on unlock here, and shortly after complete a step to confirm that you're not a robot. Then simply tap the button to validate the information and the unlocking process will begin smoothly. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions. 
and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Removing the lock from your Apple device can be done in a couple of ways. The first method is by contacting Apple support directly. For this, you'll need the original invoice of your device. The invoice is crucial as it serves as proof of purchase, showing that you are the legitimate owner of the device. To start, visit Apple's support website and choose the option to contact support. You can opt for a phone call, chat, or email support. Explain your situation clearly, mentioning that you have the original invoice and need help removing the iCloud lock from your device. Be prepared to provide the invoice details and possibly additional information about your purchase. Another method is resetting the Apple ID on Apple's website. If you've forgotten your Apple ID or password, or if you're dealing with a secondhand device that's still linked to the previous owner's Apple ID, you can reset it. Visit the Apple ID webpage and select Forgot Apple ID or Password. Follow the instructions provided. You'll need to enter the email address associated with the Apple ID and then answer some security questions or receive a verification code on a trusted device. Once you've verified your identity, you'll have the option to reset the password. After resetting, you can use the new credentials to unlock your device. Remember, both methods require you to have legitimate ownership of the device. Using these methods on a device that is not legally yours can lead to legal consequences. iCloud Unlock. Software can be a solution for removing the iCloud lock from your device, but it's important to know that this method requires a Windows computer, which may not be accessible to everyone. Firstly, you need to find a reliable iCloud unlock software. There are various options available online, but it's crucial to be cautious as many might not work as promised. A significant concern with downloading software for iCloud unlocking is the risk of malware. Downloading and installing software from the internet can sometimes lead to unwanted and harmful programs getting onto your computer. To avoid these risks, it's often safer to use online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. These services operate through a web interface, meaning you don't have to download anything to your computer. This significantly reduces the risk of encountering malware, as everything is done through your web browser. Additionally, online services are generally more user-friendly and can be accessed from any device with internet connectivity, not just Windows computers. If the previous owner of your iPhone is cooperative, there's a straightforward method they can use to help you remove the iPhone lock to owner message. This approach is particularly useful when you've purchased a second-hand device that's still linked to the seller's iCloud account. Here's how the original owner can help. Logging into iCloud. The seller needs to visit iCloud.com and log in using their iCloud credentials. This is the same username and password they used when setting up the iCloud account initially linked to the device. Finding the device once logged in, they should click on Find iPhone. This option allows them to view all the devices associated with their iCloud account. The next step involves selecting your iPhone and clicking on Erase. This action will reset your device, wiping it clean of the previous owner's data and settings. The final step is to click on Remove from Account. This ensures that the iPhone is completely disassociated from their iCloud account. Once these steps are completed, your iPhone should be free from the previous owner's iCloud link, restoring its full functionality for your use. This process is simple and highly effective, provided the seller is willing to assist Thanks for sticking with us during this tutorial. We trust that it has effectively delivered the answers you were looking for.